No beer today. Too early in the day for that. I mean, it is one o'clock on a Sunday, but too early. <laughs> uh, uh, maybe not for some people, but that's fine. Well, within it, no, judge- caffeine no judgment. Instead. No judgment. All right. <laughs> well, today except we're watching. On the, except on the beats, we'll judge the we'll judge the groups. Oh, on on the beats, yeah. 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 Um, uh, well, let's just jump in. Welcome to Age Out Reacts, everybody. We're the two hosts of the Age Out Podcast, Michael Fantini and Evan Worl. And I'm gonna take a second and turn my light up. Hey, gotta get that brightness going. There we go. All right. Uh, Comment, like, subscribe, Facebook, Instagram, give us a follow over there, uh, patreon.com or the join button here on YouTube, or go to agedoutpodcast.com, which is now up and running. If you would like to buy a logo shirt or logo sticker to support the podcast in that way, uh, check out the Aged Out Fundamentals playlist. It's a phenomenal practice tool. Uh, a bunch of people have sent us videos already of them using it, say they love it, great, it's free, works on your hands, you can get your hands back in shape, you can get them in shape, great for young players, old players, whoever, um, just go check that link out in the description. Uh, and all right, crown. We Let's go. we only have like four reactions left, I think, for the season. Unless we do some uh, open class stuff well, after yeah, the season, or... maybe after season we'll try to we're trying to get a few more done before before finals, and then get maybe a few more afterwards that we just ran out of time for. Yep, only so much time. There's only Atlanta was yesterday. Night beats tonight. Oh. There's only two weeks left. It the I season know. disappears, disappears. All right, better get clean. Yep, let's watch some crown. Oh, our base three eleven Robert Martinez from Core Coffee Shop. Go subscribe. Original video link is in the description. Great audio, great video. He hustles yeah. every summer. They're grinding it. From Houston, so it's a few days old. Yeah, it's like a week old. Week. Well, yeah. I am glad so we get to Eric. watch them. I am glad we get to watch the whole package with this one too. Yeah, I'll talk about that a little bit, just because the whole show. I mean, I've seen the show several times. Yeah, same. And little rope drums there. Not bad on the roughs there, the drags. Yep. Eight now. Those three attacks. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. This is a hallmark of Mike Jackson writing, though. Tons of reattacks, tons of space. Very rhythmically. Good communication on the front, too, on those drums. Those are pretty dry, too. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love the stabs in the front. To yeah. emphasize those accents. The metallics. It also, like, what it lines up with the horn book here, too, the trumpets or whatever, is just really well done. Mm-hmm. Some inconsistencies in the so, Yeah. I want to hit on this real quick because you and I both already alluded to this arrangement is almost similar to the blue coats arrangement in the sense that tons of communication front to back and very intricate interplay between the battery and the front. And we already mm-hmm. saw a few examples of it in the first minute of this video, but from a playing standpoint, from the drum line, you can, you can definitely hear some inconsistency so far, like at the low end with diddle and terp and blend. And then like the reattacks, they're not getting every one of them. But again, when you're reattacking three times a measure, it's so hard. <laughs> it's a yeah, lot of we, risk. We basically didn't stop playing when I was at Crown, so couldn't take yeah. the attacks because you just didn't stop. You just didn't reattack. Mm, yeah. Oh man, the boards in the those front. Those buzz rolls, like in the back, fade out the top of those people. You did it. You did it. Mm-hmm. Handled that big space really well, though. Mm-hmm. Good blend on the big roll. Mm-hmm. We get a bit of bump. Base support underneath that roll. big roll was great. Boom. Hear the horn line in the background. <laughs> ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. Trumpets. Yeah, yeah. The 
survive kind of peaking those at the end of the runs. Oh, nice. There. Mm. Very tasty. Oh, talk about communication mm. between the quads and the Yeah. Rimbos. Like tra A being yeah. within two <laughs> counts of each other's nuts. Ooh, good seven Yeah, I mean, that front to back between the quads. That 16 that's back and forth. I'm going to back up because we're going to listen to that again. Yeah, that, that was, was really, really, cool. really well orchestrated moment. This should be enough. Watch yeah. out the fast note in the front and fast. Marimbas. Mm. Oh, man. Great job moving the roll around the drums, too. And changing the meter of the roll. Yeah, very strong moment. <laughs> He's like, yeah. yeah. This putter just got away from him. Gave up, yeah, gave him a little bit. Hand to hands, putter just whatever the hell they were playing, I couldn't tell. Six tuplets, triplets. Doubles are fast in the middle of that phrase. Yep. So they, they had to switch from a very open hand feel for just the rhythms and the open rhythms they were playing, and then they went straight into those burst, fast double strokes on the right, left hand, whatever it was. That's a drastic hand pressure change. They yep. settled into it. It took them a few of the double strokes to settle into it. You could hear a little bit of grayness, but it's tough to do. Gotta firm up the fulcrum a little bit. Mm -hmm. Push the arms. They light. Yeah, that was solid. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, you gotta jump on that train from the go. There's yeah. If you yep. miss it, you're off. <laughs> you will get left behind. Fast. Mm. Part to part to part to part. This that settle on the peak. You could hear the roll going in and out as they threw the accents in there for the tap rolls and the tap fives in the middle of it, man. It's my cool books are style change though, like for it's a little bit almost it almost feels jazzy, don't you know? A mm. little bit, yeah. Mm hmm I don't know. Mike's books always fit well with the core. I just feel like they're they're struggling with the same thing every group does when you play a Mike Jackson book. Consistency, man. There's just all the reattacks, the rhythmic the rhythmic changes within measures, within phrases, hand speed change. It's just so varied all the time with so yeah. much space. It just doesn't lend itself to superior consistency. 
Yeah, it's always so well crafted. Oh yeah, uh, from a holistic standpoint. Ironically, this group would probably benefit from having the P two judge. Uh, totally agree. A, a lot, maybe more than some other groups would, just because the whole package having that percussion two judge that's really digesting everything and how it relates mm -hmm. to the horn book and just the whole percussion ensemble. This is a group that would probably benefit from having the two judge system more than I don't want to say more than everyone but more than probably a lot of others yeah i definitely would agree with that i mean it's just the the overall package is great so far we have a couple minutes left for this video yeah we'll finish it up here in a second but it's the arrangement's great him and kevin in. him and kevin are great at what they do it's just it's just hard to achieve in this medium this marching medium and, and you got to be honest like achievement is part of the sheets like you gotta be able to execute it to do it and, and win Clarity is king yep Clean for wins. Me, clarity, for me, clarity is king. Yeah, for a lot of people, it is. I feel yeah. like. <laughs> Clean is forever. Those low tight drags were good. I love the way the marimbas Ooh, like supported that. the battery phrase like there. Like the the marimbas were just playing. I'll back up a little bit. Just playing nice triplet figures around the board, and the battery is going nuts behind him. Just a nice, subtle undertone support for what the drum line's doing. Just all this. I'll use the arrow keys this time and go back far enough. <laughs> there we go. Double click. Just great support from the front. Then the vertical communication to finish it off. A hard rhythm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Good job yeah. on the nines finish. to finish the phrase. I think they were nines. Whatever. Like a little broken city crown. Good oh, start. delicate roll. Yeah. Really Great. well done. And again with the yeah. quads and ba bases over top. Yeah. I remember this moment in the show, too. It's really cool. Ooh. Yeah, that was great. Then the shift to the fast. Uh, they lost it at the end, but I'd say like 95% yeah, yeah. really good execution on that phrase. Yeah, those, that fast 16 note push. Well done. Big seven strokes. Ooh, yeah. Ease. There's something about a triplet roll that just, <laughs> just sticks out in the middle of a primarily duple based phrase. Like the front and the battery were just going nuts with duple figures, 16th notes. Then just a clean triplet roll cuts through the middle of it, and then it goes right back to the duple feel. It's something about it, just nice. The nice little switch up makes it makes it hit different. Catch you off guard a little bit. Mm, great shaping. Nice. Crescendo in the hand to hands. Cello Rondo there. Man, you have to play 
place all these notes at this tempo. It is. Yeah, mm, good with the hand-to-hand -hand yep. singles. All the rhythm changes yeah. there, the speed of the double strokes. Lord. All right. Yeah, dude, it was interesting what you said a minute ago, too. Like, just the challenges that this presents at this medium. Like, indoor is certainly more forgiving in the aspect that you're not... The physical demands aren't the same. Like, you don't have as much physical demand. And the arena itself is way more forgiving, too, where... In terms of, of hearing clarity... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kicks you, hide you can way get away easier. with a little grayness in you, and the judges arena. aren't right up on you. Right. Um, well, they're not so really right up on you now a little bit more. What? Well, oh. I said that they aren't really yeah. right up on you now anymore. Most yeah, of the time, but whatever. But um, for, that's for that postseason. We'll get back on that. Yeah, we'll we'll get back on that rant and train uh, uh, after the season's over. But um, yeah, yeah it's, go ahead and finish. Percussion ensemble is fantastic. Yeah, the arranging's great. Yeah. It fits with the show super well. It's just the same battle Mike Jackson's groups always fight in drum corps. It's hard to move that much and run around the field and crown runs around the field and yeah. be able to nail every reattack, every hand speed change, every meter change. Like it's his writing just does not lend itself inherently. I think that's to why too sometimes the reflections in the scoring too competitively, you know, you see sometimes where it's like they they have like a show where they're like in the mix uh -huh. like maybe they popped a run and like yep. just had a really great run and then you see like it kind of fluctuates just, it's i think that it, the consistency is what is what does that it's very high risk but it's also very very high reward if it clicks right but just getting it to click which it has to three nights in a row in lucas oil you're rolling the dice too much for my taste but but yeah I, I love the arrangement. I think there's depth, a ton of great phrases in this video. They nailed. It just wasn't 100%. And no one's 100% clean. Even Boston's still ticking. Blue coat's still tick. Like, it is what it is. Everyone's fighting the same battle. Yeah. Um, I'm yep. excited to see this live. I want to see. I'll, I want to make sure I watch them in the lot in person. I wonder um, if they're going to do, because you know how the setup. I know a lot of these groups this summer are doing a lot more full percussion ensemble warm-ups you know i hadn't but thought about that that, that venue is not really yeah i hadn't thought about that they're not right hauling now. the pits over to military park so and they can't i know the first group that goes finals day gets to warm up by the trucks and semis because nope they, there's no one to i don't think the sound would carry into the stadium anyway if, ever, if everybody no. was in that parking lot warming up but no there's just not room yeah it's not big enough so yeah, that's a good point blue coat blue coats are doing full percussion in the lot Vanguard Crown is, is, Crown Van is Vanguard yeah. is. Be I think uh, I know Phantom has been doing some of that too. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we'll see. But yeah, fan of Crowns arranging this summer for sure. The show's cool, fits with the show. Max it out. Just yep, they'll keep getting Crown. cleaner. They're so. pushed. Jared, Home Mike, team. all of them. They know what to do. Um, yeah. Got anything else? I'm good. Comment, like, subscribe, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, join button on YouTube, agedoutpodcast.com, buy yourself a shirt, uh, agedoutfundamentals, drum every day, and we will see everybody in the next one. Peace.